Hello learner, my name is Dickens and uh, we are talking about salts and in today's lesson we want to discuss how you can obtain crystals from any given salt solution. So we start that by obtaining the solution itself and we shall use copper sulfate as our uh, example. So uh, we are talking about to obtaining crystals from a solution. The one we are going to consider is uh, copper sulfate. So our subheading under this is uh, uh, obtaining obtaining uh, obtaining uh, copper sulfate crystals. obtaining a copper sulfate crystal. So let us start by preparing the copper sulfate solution first and then from there we shall discuss, we shall see how we can now get the crystals from the solution itself. So the procedure is as follows. So first, number one, you place about 20 centimeters cubed of water in a beaker so you just measure that one using a measuring cylinder then number two you add a spatula full of copper sulfate uh, we want to prepare the solution first then from the solution we shall obtain the crystal. So you add a spatula of copper sulfate to the beaker as you stir. So we are simply starting to make sure that the solid crystals that we are having are, are able to dissolve in the water. Thirdly, uh, continue adding a copper sulfate crystals until no more can dissolve. You'll realize at one point uh, when you add more and more copper sulfate none of it will dissolve. So we are saying the point at which no more crystals are able to dissolve, we are saying that that solution has reached a point of saturation. So such a solution, you're going to call it a saturated solution, one in which no more a solute can dissolve. Then after that, you decant the resulting solution the resulting solution onto an evaporating evaporating a basin or evaporating dish and then from there uh, you hit the solution until it is about to form crystals. So how will you know, how will you be able to tell that the solution is now ready to form crystals? We do that by using a glass rod. So we shall take a glass rod and then you dip into that uh, saturated solution and then you hold it in the air and then you observe the uh, glass rod. When you see crystals on the glass rod, after allowing it to cool, it will mean the solution is ready to form crystals. So if it is ready to form crystals, you now stop heating and allow it to cool. So that brings us to the next uh, point uh, in our procedure. You allow the saturated solution 
to cool. We have said you are allowing it to cool after confirming that it is ready to form crystals. And we have said, how do you tell that it is ready to form crystals? By dipping a glass rod into that solution and holding it in the air. Once the glass rod has cooled, the solution, the, the, you'll be able to see crystals on the glass rod. And for that case, you'll now stop heating. And then, uh, lastly, is you uh, dry the crystals formed using or between filter papers. So we shall see why we are using filter papers to dry the crystals formed. So this is how our apparatus will look like. So remember we are heating the uh, saturated solution. So this is how we are going to heat it. We are going to heat it using a water bath. So as shown here, so we shall have our uh, beaker. This beaker contains some water in it. So remember we heat uh, using a water bath and uh, we have to put our tripod stand here, tripod stand, and then uh, below it, below it we put our source of heat. So this will be our source of heat. That's our heat. So heating shall be shall be done here. Then on top of our beaker, so this is our beaker. This will be our beaker. So remember the beaker contains some water. So here we have water. Then on top of the beaker, we shall put our evaporating dish. So the evaporating dish will be here on top of our beaker. And that's where we shall put our uh, salt solution. That is copper sulfate. So we shall put our copper sulfate solution here. Remember from it, we are supposed to obtain the copper sulfate crystals. So this is our evaporating dish. Evaporating dish. And then this is our copper sulfate solution. Copper sulfate solution. So that's how we arrange the apparatus for uh, heating our uh, saturated solution. Remember we have said while heating, you'll be required to dip a clean grass rod into this salt solution so that you're able to find out when it's ready to form crystals. And we have said, how do you know that? Once you remove the glass rod from this solution, and then you hold it in the air, it will cool. On cooling, you'll be able to see some crystals on the glass rod. That will mean the solution is ready to form crystals. If it is not ready to form crystals, then you'll continue heating. So that's how we are, shall arrange our apparatus. So we have said, after that, you will be able to remove the evaporating dish from the source of heat, and then you put it somewhere, allow that solution to cool. After cooling, the solution will form crystals. And those crystals that we shall obtain will be the crystals of copper to sulfate. So we have mentioned the word crystals. It's good you also know the definition or the meaning of the word crystals. Remember, we are obtaining crystals from a solution of copper sulfate. So therefore we are saying crystals can be, def can be defined as, uh, as what? So we are saying crystals are simply the solid particles uh, obtained, solid particles obtained when a saturated, when a saturated 
salt solution salt solution cools so we are seeing after copper sulfate solution will cool it will form copper sulfate crystal so that's how we get the meaning that crystals are obtained from a saturated solution we also have this word saturated solution let's also define it saturated solution solution so remember in our procedure there is somewhere we mentioned and said you add copper sulfate continue adding until no more can dissolve so at that point where no more copper sulfate can dissolve we say such a solution is saturated so what is it so it it means uh, a solution a solution in which in which no more solute no more solute can dissolve no more solute can dissolve at a given temperature at a given temperature of course we know a solute from form 1 a solute is any substance that dissolves in a solvent whereas a solvent is a substance that dissolves a solid so in this case our solvent is water and our solute is copper sulfate crystals now the whole process of formation of crystals we are calling it crystallization so we have another term here crystallization crystallization uh, crystallization is simply a process in which process in which crystals are formed when a saturated solution saturated solution cools so the process we call it crystallization and the solid particles formed are called crystals so you know you'll realize that uh, we are talking about crystals for crystals to be formed then it means there some must be some water that must be present in that any given salt so a salt can either be in form of crystals or in powder form those salts which are in powder form we say they don't have water of crystallization but those which salts which are in form of crystals we say they contain water of crystallization so let's also define that word water of crystallization water of crystallization so water of crystallization is simply water that is incorporated within the structure of a salt so anytime you're talking about crystals then it means that given salt contains water of crystallization so we are saying water of crystallization is important in the formation of crystals for any given salt so learner we have said this uh, that we can obtain crystals from any salt solution by simply carrying out evaporation as you can see from the diagram there and we have said as you hit you are supposed to dip a glass rod in that given salt solution to find out when it's ready to form crystals after that you remove it from the source of heating and then you allow the uh, salt solution to cool on cooling it will form some solid particles and those solid particles formed are called crystals and the process of formation of crystals is called crystallization and that is the end of our lesson i want you to try these questions during your own time so try these questions i want you to try these questions here So 
Our first question is define the term saturated solution. Define the term saturated solution. Secondly, define the term water of crystallization. Out of crystallization and state and state its state its importance. Why is water of crystallization important? Thirdly, uh, I want you to try and answer why. Why? Uh, crystals cannot be dried by heating. Why you cannot dry the crystals by heating? Remember, we have said any salt for it to have crystals, then it means it contains water of crystallization. So you can get the clue from the definition of water of crystallization. Then, uh, fourth question is uh, explain why why uh, the solution is not evaporated to dryness. So you try those four questions and I believe you shall be able to handle any question pertaining formation of crystals. So that's the end of our lesson for today. I'll see you in our next lesson. Thank you. Thank you.